by uh, Mr. Bob Palmer and his head offensive coordinator, Randy Tressler, assistant coach uh, Leonard Sumi, and Greg Anderson, Steve Strange, Jeff Rambo, the equipment manager, Bugger Gaddis, business manager, Kathy Palmer. So let's take a look at the starting lineup now. Robert Braxton, number 50, in the middle of the center. Robbie Griffin, 68, Billy Dice, 66, and DJ Mancini, 57, will alternate at the guard. Daryl Hall, 64, and Timmy Kerrigan, 76, will be the tackle. Eric Morgan, number 14, and Derek Clements, the tight end. The split end will be number 82, Joe Williams. Matt McGlucky, number 12, your quarterback. He's backed up by number 14, Eric Morgan. And it'll be Bobby Palmer. Number 16, Gerald Angeline and Josh Rambo, number 39, in the offensive backfield. Now, let's take a quick look, if you will, at the Ted Musica Lead Eagles 1994 squad. As we said, head coach Teddy Musica, first assistant Keith Bullish, assistant coaches Earthman John, Willard Van Swearington, Alan Van Swearington, Bob Mangus, and Bob Miner. The offensive set for the Eagles, as we get some wind kicking up here, is going to be basically the same. Jason Adamski, number 51, will be the center. Craig Cauldron, 38, and Travis Matthews, number 95, the guard. Three pretty good interior linemen and good tackles also. Billy Pillar, number 97, Mike Grimm, 58, along with Frank Francis, number 75. Your tight end is Jason Boxman, number 88. Chris Gate is 17, goes as a split receiver. Your quarterback is Justin Bullock, number 13, and Sean Halfield, number 20. Mark Cranach, number 22. Elliot Adamovich, who can also play some QB, one of the wideout halfbacks. And Anthony Capen, 34. James Ashton, number three. Uh, they are the uh, offensive backfield here today for the Marshall Eagles. Well, that concludes our pregame show. Marshall to take on the Hutchison Chiefs. And that action comes up here on Channel 5, the home of the Helicon Cable System and South Union Township Sport Net Network. Now all that comes up following these messages. Go now with our first ball game. It will be the green-shirted Eagles taking on the Chiefs, who are attired in the dark red and white. They are receiving the opening kickoff down here to our right. It's McGlucky, Thomas, back deep, along with Williams. The kick away, it'll come straight down the middle, and McGlucky will field it near the 30, looking for some running room. He won't find any there. Downfield on the coverage, making the hit number 95. And he'll be all over the field here today, Travis Matthews. So it'll be first down and 10 on that defensive line, taking a quick look. Number 75, Frank Francis in the middle there. Number 44, taking a look at Philip Hickson. 42 on the outside is one of the defensive ends. Todd Russell, inside linebackers, uh, Cauldron. One of them, Matthews, I believe, the other. On first down, McGlucky. Pitch right side, and down he goes. Angeline, the ball carrier, and let's see who made the hit. Either number 22, coming up quickly, uh, Mark Cranach, or to the sideline, taking a look, it might have been Todd Richards, and Richards might have been shaken up on the play. So that seems to indicate to me that Richards made the hit, a big loss of five. Second down now and about 15, Robert Braxton out over the football. Number 68, Griffin, is the right guard. Palmer is the middle back in the full house set. McGlucky. He's going to slip it off. And here comes Angeline ripping his way through. And he's going to be very close to the first down. Hanging on for dear life. Making the hit. Number 88, Jason Bachman. Big gain on the play. Nice little sprint out. And they flipped it up inside. And Angeline roars ahead for about 13 or 14 yards. Looking now at uh, third down and short. The officials here today, Carl Planinska, Al Myers, and good to see Keith McCormick back. Ronnie Diamond filled in for him last week. So looking at third down and about three. Full house, two tight. And an option to the left side. McGlucky slipped out of one. And he will be short of the first down. Good defensive play. Cauldron was there. Grimm was there. Francis was there. And taking a quick look also there, number 13, Bullish, and 44, Philip Hickson. So a nice defensive play. Brings up fourth down now and about five to go. Are they punting as they deploy back at the huddle? Just underway, first series of downs, and they're going to go for it. So it's at the 35-yard line. They need five and a half, six yards for the first down. And they split out the 
guards and tackles with a wide split and sneaking it straight up the middle and nowhere to go. Cauldron, Matthews, number 95, and as they untangle at the bottom, Philip Hickson, number 44, so they gambled, came up short, turned the ball over, first down and 10 the other way. First down and 10 now as Bullish comes out over the ball. And the inside play will net very little yardage. McGlucky is going to make the hit. Also coming up to make the tackle on number 13, Bullish. I think it was number 68 in the red, Robert Griffin. So it'll be a short yardage gain of one. Inside line shows Jason Madamski, Travis Matthews, Craig Coldwin. The tackles are Pillar, Grimm, and or Francis out there. And splitting out wide left now, it is Grimm. The left tackle. Bachman, the tight end set right, and you got a wing. And they run a little counter up inside, breaking out of there. Coming for some yardage is Ashton, and he will be dropped by Rambo. Nice effort by number three, James Ashton. As he hit up in there, Ashton gets it ahead for a gain of about five, maybe six, looking at third down now. And about four yards to go. Four. Justin Bullock, number 13. Going to option down the side. Here's Trainex, 30, 25, 20, and driven out of bounds by McGlucky. But he has got the first down. Pickup of about 12 or 13. And we've got our first first down of the night. And Teddy Musica wants him to get the timeout. So we'll be back. It'll be at the 18-yard line, first down and 10. And Justin Bullish is out and set. Wide receiver left, that's Elliot Adamovich. They're going to slip on the reverse, fake it up inside. Crane X to the 20. Crane X to the 15, and Rambo gets him out of there. And in the process, also uh, taking a tumble, Eric Morgan, who was right near the sticks. And while we got a break on the uh, sticks, our chain gang today, George Pinckney, Bob Grimm, and Bill Hickson. I want to thank uh, everybody who was involved with the spaghetti dinner yesterday. A uh, big success, and thanks go out to uh, all who participated and all who helped make it the success. And we got a flag, I think it's coming back, so it'll be a holding call. But anyway, again, uh, Teddy Musica wanted to make sure we passed on uh, thanks and appreciation to all the people involved in making this success, especially Mr. Everett Deberry and all of the fine uh, people over at La Russa Products. So just success of the spaghetti dinner uh, yesterday down at the Catholic War Vet. And kudos and praise all around to all the ladies who, and men who helped make it a success. Back now, bowl is firing up field, man open, tipped away. Good job, I think Gatiss was in behind and getting back to make the play, Joe Williams to knock it down. We're down to about 3.45 on the stop clock. Second down and about 18 yards to go. Rich, left side, shows Cauldron and Mike Grimm. Right side, Travis Matthews and Francis on the line. They'll run the inside reverse, it's on the ground. Nobody there, going for it, and finally Bullish dives in, also diving in Cauldron, but they're too late getting there. Number 82, Joe Williams on the recovery. Put up all this laid out there for what seemed like an eternity, and first down and 10 for the Chiefs. Ball spotted at the 29-yard line, going the other way. Now the Chiefs out. Over the ball comes Braxton. They're going to run the little reverse. Oh, missed slipping the tackle, but won't slip the second one. Number 42, Jared Angeline, knocked off his feet by Hickson and Matthews, but a good effort to get out of that initial tackle. Just too much backside pursuit. Second down. Two minutes and 40 seconds.